seems like a, it's obviously a very fun act to see this random, and um, we find out more throughout the season that it's not random, and she has a huge part to do with the messenger. How does he come into the story? Oh, okay, Raul. I was like, Raul. <laughs> uh, Raul is an undercover agent who is on a mission in Mexico, and he's exposed, and he's about to be executed. Um, and then at, at that moment within this event, you know, he just dies. And so when he's brought back to life, he's just trying to escape. He, he has no idea. He's obviously very confused because now he's hearing things. Um, so he's just trying to escape and, and get back to his family. And throughout the season, you'll understand why he needed to come back home. But, uh, you know, he, he all the characters don't really understand what's going on as far as being a messenger. In fact, that kind of comes out later on. Of, you know what's going on, but um, yeah, we're just these random characters who just happen to meet, and we're all running away from our situation. We seem to find ourselves in the same spot, brought together obviously by fate, and it's it's to you know aid humanity and, and the apocalypse. So were they chosen or was it fate? It seemed like they, they, were, they were chosen. They were chosen. Okay. They were chosen. As far as just meeting each other in the same place, you know. In the same place. Right. And he hears voices. He hears negative thoughts. So he, he can't hear everything, um, but if if it's a negative thought and it's going to help him, he hears it. And does Rose hear these similar thoughts? Rose no, does she not doesn't hear have that these gift. thoughts. <laughs> I don't. Um, Rose has the gift of... Well, she has the gift of understanding what it is that needs to be done. Um, and in the second episode, we she presents the messengers with our first task, and a very large one, and um, and she she works throughout the season to kind of keep everyone um, focused on her task. Because again, it's these five strangers who are like, oh, now I have to work with this. Like, it's, you know, she she has a very tough job keeping everyone focused. I mean, I think that that throughout history has always been a question of, you know, we all have that question. We all wonder, we're all searching, you know, how did we get here? Where are we going? Um, as far as Hollywood kind of taking that side of the story and just, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, when Twilight came out and the vampire stuff, you know, was coming out and then zombies and with Walking, with Walking Dead. And I just think it's, you kind of see these cycles, you know, just going through. And right now this is it. But it's an interesting one because it's all something, you know, with vampires, you're like, okay, it's entertaining, but, you know, zombies, it's entertaining, but, and then now the apocalypse, it's like, well, hold on a second. I mean, that can, that can happen. Um, or how is it going to happen? Or even if you don't believe it's going to happen, and yeah, at least you have some. It's it's uh, it's something for you to just uh, question and, and talk about. It's a conversation, so I think that's why it's kind of important. This experience. Are you particularly drawn to apocalyptic shows? You did Revolution last year. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it just it just kind of happened, you know. I think when I was ending Revolution, this one just came up, and I really didn't know everything what it was about. Um, and you know, obviously, when you after you do the pilot, and then you start the scripts start coming in, you're like, oh, so this is just, you know. This you're is like, I've done the apocalypse. I can do this again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rose is thrown into again the role the leader and it's not one that she wanted to have you know it's not a role she wanted to have just as Raul didn't want to have these powers and have this responsibility now to save the world but we're all thrown into it and so you kind of see her deal with that throughout the season I think with all the characters you see them deal with um, this task this responsibility their gifts and their personal lives what is their reaction going to be when they meet the mysterious man if they get a chance to meet him? Mm. <laughs> well, All right, I mean. What was your reaction to the when you met the mysterious man? Uh, you have your gun. I'm trying to remember that. Remember. Yeah, exactly. Um, all of the messages at some point. Yeah, you know, we, we all we all kind of have a meeting with him in, in some way, but uh, 
you know, as you can see within the pilot, he has something against Vera. He has something to hold against her that she needs. And it's the same with all of us. So, you know, I'm sure if we could kill him and get rid of him, like, if it was that easy, well, then maybe it'd be a movie, it wouldn't be a TV series. But, uh, but it's not that easy. And, and so that's the cool thing about it, is that you have to, each character has a need, has something that they want. And he's sort of the the gate to that. Um, so we have to, you know, navigate those waters very carefully because he's he's not that great of a guy. There are like these missions that, that uh, come across where the care the these five messengers have to uh, unite and base them together. They they have to rely on each other, which is a drama in itself because we're all very different. Um, but this the storytelling is great in that it, it does go into each character and why they are, um, why they're here, why they were chosen, how they were chosen, um, and it's it's interesting because you you do get a lot of that backstory and it's very human. Yeah.